What's up guys, uh, hey King here, bringing you a, well, quick review of Boku no Hero. Uh, and this was last week's chapter actually, I think. Uh, chapter 365, was it? Yeah, 65. Uh, and I, I don't know what it was called, uh, number something, right? Uh, numbers 4 and number 5. Okay, so a lot of controversy on these recent chapters. Okay, to get the to get the quick point across, um, all, all for one is back now, but he's slowly dying. Okay, because uh, the the reset that he used uh, for uh, news, you know that that was used from Enri's powers. It, it brought him back to his full might, but he is going to be disappearing soon as well. So now it's sort of a race against time to defeat him before he can kill everyone there. And obviously, he's going to be taking over Shigaraki's body, which he, I guess he's already sort of been doing since it seems his mind is somewhat in there. So he's like controlling Shigaraki, uh, Shigaraki and himself at the same time, lying in two different places. It's very weird uh, how, the, how that's done, how it's handled. But yeah, that's happened. But the biggest controversy, which I think is cool, by the way, I, I, like, I like that we finally get to see Awful One's freaking face. Like that big reveal on him just like getting his power up and then uh, beating some hero up to get some clothes. It was... It was good. It was some. Good, it was some good stuff. Like, um, but uh, it's it's to do with Bakugo where everyone's losing their minds. So Bakugo died basically a few chapters ago, and in this recent chapter, you basically have Edshot, who's this hero. I don't think we've ever really focused on, but he can make himself very very small, like a Fred, and he basically decides to go inside Bakugo's body to fix all the damage from the inside. And now everyone's like, oh, well, that's an ass pool. It's a, 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 a Deus Ex Machina, blah, blah, blah. It's a waste, blah, blah, blah. This manga's crap now, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to burn my volumes now, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's like people can never be bloody satisfied. Like, I don't see a problem with this. Yeah, it, it, I, I guess the problem is they killed off Bakugo too soon, which, or not even too soon, they killed him off and then they're bringing him back immediately. But then it's like, well, yeah, they have to, don't they? Because this is like... Look what, the, look what the stakes are, like he just died and now a hero is sacrificing themselves. Literally, Edshot is basically killing himself in order to save Bakugo's life. Like, that's some heavy crap there and people are, are ignoring that. It's like, oh, well, you killed him off just to bring him back in the next chapter. But like, it's not as simple as that. The dude got freaking stabbed through the heart and lung apparently and now you've got this dude having to go in and fix the damage from the inside. Like... And you've got the other heroes, you got Jean, you know, you got Jean, Blue Genist and uh, Mirko trying to protect, and uh, and Lemillion trying to protect uh, Edshot um, uh, as he fixes Bakugo. And you've got Shigaraki losing his mind because he cannot comprehend why these heroes are doing anything for this kid who's basically done for, who's dead, when no one did anything for him. So it really confuses him. Like and it's break, it's breaking and it's bre it's breaking his mind basically. It's driving him mad. It's driving him very mental because he cannot comprehend that. Like where was where were the heroes helping him when he was going for a tough time? Why are they wasting their time for this kid right who's who's basically dead? And it's like, it, I, I think I think that's I think that the symbolism there is is very good because like at the same time it it does speak volumes about the hypocrisy of the heroes. But at the same time it's like well. They weren't there because all for one was manipulating things so they probably wouldn't help you like I don't know maybe times have changed now to the point where it's like no we, we have to help no matter what so because it's the younger generation that I can carry forward personally I don't see a problem with this I don't see a problem because in the end of the day Edshot is gonna die Bakugo is going to be revived. How powerful he's going to be, it doesn't really matter because he's still going to he's going to be recovering. So he he can't just like go into action straight away. And then there's the fact that a hero died to save him. So that's going to be on Bakugo's consciousness. Like when he wakes up and he and he discovers this, and this 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 only works if Edshot dies. By the way, if 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 uh, Horogashi decides to pull, uh, you know, out of his ass that uh, Edshot survives because there's a little tiny bit of him left as, as this little Fred or Flea whatever. That won't work. That won't work. He needs to die, and that consequence needs to go onto Bakugo's mind because now it's it's a case of he has to live for two people. Okay, he's he has to live not only for himself, he has to carry on and live for Edshot as well, who died saving his life, who gave his own life to save him. So that has to be very mentally scar scarring when Bakugo realizes that, and that's something that's a very good story direction to take it in. Or if it rushed, it depends on how it's done. But I'm seeing the positives of this, and a lot of people are just sitting there ignoring that. 
Uh, and the other cool thing about this chapter is the fact that we see Mirko going all out. She rips her arms off, like, she's already lost one limb, she's already lost a foot, but now she rips off her other arm because it gets caught by Shiraki's mouth arms, mouth fingers, whatever they are, and she rips it off, and she's going nuts. Like, um, I think there's a panel here where, where is it, where is it, where... I'm not gonna read through this because it's it's a very it's a very simple chapter. Uh but uh Do you wanna die bad badly? Uh what the And then and then Shigaraki realizes, you know, his body is feeling pain now. Wait, no, Mirko. The hell's wrong with you? You're about you you care about me dying all of a sudden. How kind of you, Mr. Demon. And yeah, you get this you get this creepy chapter where like a like a you ever seen Monty Python's uh Monty P is it the Holy Grail of Monty Python? I've never really seen it, I've only seen the clip. But uh, yeah, she she's the bunny, and Merkel's turned into that bunny from that from that film. That little innocent tiny bunny that just suddenly starts jumping up and ripping people's freaking heads off. That's Merkel right now. Like like she's like uh, a blue I think a blue genus has has news one of his friends to tie up uh, uh, the blood oozing out from her arms that she's ripped off basically to stop you know to stop her pressure basically you know uh, she's applying pressure to it and 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 without two arms. And only one prosthetic leg, and uh, does she, does she, did she lose a leg? I don't know, but she's going nuts and jumping up and biting, she, like trying to bite Shigaraki, like. And then you got Millennium coming in at the same time, like people die when it's their time, yeah, and like yeah. Um, is it in a time like this, the only option is to go without. Yeah, Mirko, don't give up, and that's Blue Genius screaming that out, or is it Edshot? I think I think it's Edshot screaming out like, don't give up, go for it. I don't want to regret anything when I die. So yeah, she's going in with kicks and shit, and and it's crazy. Like, like if you if you weren't a Merkel fan before, I can't see why you wouldn't be a Merkel fan now because like she's a, she's an amputee. She's a freaking amputee. She's a she's a dark skinned, sexy, uh, butt ass bunny amputee right now. Okay, that's what that's what Hirogoshi has done. Like he's taken this is I, I'm assuming this is his favorite character considering how much he draws her like in his covers and back that. But he's taken her and he's gone all out with her and it's awesome. Like I like this. I like this. It's crazy. It's insane. But goddamn, if it's not awesome, like and people are saying this chapter sucks. Are you nuts? Like these guys are doing everything they can to stay alive so they can save Bakugo's life now at this point. So no, this doesn't suck at all. This is great. But then the creepy and then the creepy thing happens where Shigaraki is remembering all these dead family members like there was no one there There was no one there to help me. He keeps even though everyone pretended not to see me and he and oh my god His family ends up growing out of that his sister his grandparents his mom his dad the only one missing is the dog, but uh Yeah, like That's sub that's some creepy that's some creepy crap man. That's, that's some creepy stuff there like I don't know what that entails for the next chapter, but uh, yeah, Shigaraki is losing control, all because the heroes are trying to save Bakugo, but they're trying to save someone when they couldn't even be bothered to save him. Like, this is a good chapter, I think. It's a very quick, action-packed chapter, and the stakes are very high at this point. Is Bakugo gonna live? Yes, of course he's gonna live. I even said this in a previous chapter, like, he isn't gonna die. Hirogoshi's not gonna kill him off. He's not gonna die, like, he's gonna come back. Like, you know, it, it's crazy that uh, people are complaining about this, but no one complained when, for example, uh, Sasuke was dying in, in the fourth grade Ninja War. And it, when, when Naruto lost, uh, you know, the Nine Tails, and when Sasuke got stabbed by Madara, and they were both dying, uh, everyone, no one was complaining. Everyone was like, well, this is the point where they're all going to die and meet the Sage on Six Pops. Like, now, I remember, I remember, this was back on the IMDb days. People, and, and this was the manga people especially, like, not the anime guys. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Like, people came up with theories that made a lot of sense. It's like, it's like, oh yeah, okay, uh, I bet Koruma told Gara to take him to his dad so he can put the other half of him check. He's going to live and he's probably going to meet the Sage of the Six Bars, maybe. Well, that, that, won't, that won't work because he needs the eight and one, tail, uh, one tails. But then what happened in that chapter, Obito got the one, you know, one and eight tail and everyone's like, yep, he's going to get Sage of Six Pass powers. And then with Sasuke, it was sort of the same thing. It was like, well, um, Kabuto's going to be saving him and pumping him for the Senju, whatever, and that's going to give him... People predicted this crap. And they were satisfied with that. You know, people are gonna say no, they weren't. People no, they, people weren't angry. People predicted this trap was gonna happen, and they were satisfied with the freaking results. And you know, that was like that that moment when both of them came back and they were facing down Mother was one of the most badass moments in that. And I can see something similar happening happening here, where where Deku is finally gonna get there. And, and Bakugo is going to finally be revived and both of them are going to be standing back to back facing this new like transformed Shigaraki like I can see that moment happening and people are like oh yeah like, this is BS it's like what do you ex like 
What do you expect? This is a shonen. This is a shonen. You see this crap in shonen every time. It happens in Bleach. It happens in... How many characters died in Bleach only to come back? Like, no one complains about that. Like, like come on. Like, it, it, it's, it's honestly, like... It's frustrating. Like, because this is such a common... Maybe, maybe because it's such a common trope that people are tired of it now. It's like, you know, we're getting tired of a character dying and then being revived, but like, what did you expect? Like, when you're reading a shonen, this is gonna be a thing that's gonna happen every time. Like, if I was writing this, I was doing this, I would do the same bloody thing. Like, maybe, does it doesn't feel, no, it doesn't, honestly, it doesn't feel rushed because again, the dude's heart and lung were ripped out. Like, you're gonna have to do something to save him immediately before he bleeds out and dies completely, do you know what I mean? Like, if there's a chance to save him, you're gonna have to take otherwise, like, fucking brain dead? I mean, and again, this is a, this is a fantasy sci-fi story, I, I guess they don't take that into account, but like, it, it, in a real world, if we did have powers and stuff, and you could do that, wouldn't you do that? Like, I'm just saying, like... Anyway, I liked, I liked the chapter. I, 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 I honestly, I just don't get the complaints i really don't and i didn't mind this i like this chapter and i can't wait to see what happens next so yeah guys that's the end of that that's the end of that uh hope to see you again take care and bye